Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the challenge video on how to add larger numbers with a 100 bead abacus. If you've just watched all of the other edition videos and are looking for a challenge, this is the place to be. This video will give you a chance to try adding numbers that are larger than three digits. This is where having a sheet of paper will be extremely helpful. Let's begin. Let's try by, let's try adding 7,263 plus 2,315. Like we did for all of our other addition problems so far, we will start by forming the first number. 7,263. 3, 2, oh, 3, 7,206 there. Wow. 3, 2, 4. Two, two, four, six, seven. There's 7,263. I got my numbers a little mixed up, but we got the number in the end. Now we have to add 2,315. Starting at the bottom, we will add five, two, four, five. We can add one and go three, one, two, three, and two. Now if we pull away our number here, let's go one and we've got our two, four, six, seven thousand two hundred sixty-three right here. This is that. And then on this side we have two thousand three hundred fifteen. Now when we slap them together, we get the answer to that problem which is where you would need a sheet of paper. This one is extremely hard to just say, oh, it's 111 or something. So let's count the beads. Two, four, six, nine. Two, four, five. Two, four, six, seven. Two, four, six, eight. That gives us an answer of 9,578. Your abacus should look something like this. All right, let's continue on and we're gonna do another example. This one's a little harder than the first, but still doable. Anytime that you feel the need to pause the video and watch the prior question again, you can go ahead. If you feel like you need to stop and try again another day, that is also fine. But if you would like to continue, we're gonna try adding 426,824 plus 289,036. Let's start by forming the first number. Let's go four, two, eight, six, eight, six, two, four, six, two, and four. This should give us two, four, four thousand, four hundred twenty-six thousand, eight hundred twenty-four. Now we need to add 289,036. Start with the bottom row and add six in our ones, two, four, six. Since we have formed a group of 10, we can move one 10 bead over and move 10 one beads back. Now we need to go to the tens place and add three, one, two, three. Nothing yet to write down in our notes, but I think we will need it later in this problem. We don't have to add any hundreds because there is a zero in the hundreds place. Next, we do need to add nine thousands though. One, two, three, four. I was right. We need to write four in the corner because this is where notes is gonna be really helpful because there are a lot of numbers going through our heads right now. We can move one 10,000 over and move the 10 thousands over and continue from four. And we've got to get up to nine. So five, six, seven, eight, and nine. There is our thousands place. Let's go to the ten thousands. And we need to count off eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm going to cross off my four and put a seven next to that. Move one 100,000 beat over and move my ten. 10,000 beads back to their side. Now starting from seven, we only need to get to eight, so let's go one. Lastly, we need to add two to our 100,000s row, two. 
this is our number, but it isn't really easy to just say it is a number, so we need to write it down. Let's start with at the top, two, four, six, seven, one, and then two, four, five. We go two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, zero. So I wrote down, starting from the top to the bottom, my numbers and figured out that our answer to the equation is 715,860. All right, that one was tricky, but this last one is going to be the hardest problem you have done so far. So let's move our beads back and get started. Again, if you need to go back and watch the prior question that we just answered, you can do that. If you feel like you need to stop and try again another day, go ahead at any time. But this one's going to be 4,593,275 plus 4,712,904. This one is a very, very large number. So let's get started forming the first number because we do that in every addition and subtraction problem. Let's start in the ones place, two, four, five, Four, six, seven, two, and then one, two, three, followed by two, four, six, eight, nine, then two, four, five, and one, two, three, four. So we have four million five hundred ninety-three thousand two hundred seventy-five. Now we need to add. 4,712,904. Start at the bottom and add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. No notes to take here because we have beads left. Continuing up to the tens place, there is a zero, so we don't have to add beads there either. But in the next row, the hundreds row, we have to add nine. So let's start 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight. At this point, I will write the number eight down. Move one, ten, one thousand bead over, and move the ten hundreds back. One red bead, ten tan beads. Then I will continue from eight and get to nine. All right. Now we have to continue on and do our thousands place, which is two, one, two. Pretty simple. Then we have to do our ten thousands, which is one. Since we have made a group of ten, we can move one yellow bead, not the first group, but our hundred thousands yellow beads, and move our ten thousands back. Now we have to do the hundred thousands, which in this case is seven. One, two, three, four. I'm going to cross off the eight we had from earlier and write down four so we can remember it. All right, and then we have to move one green bead and move these 10 yellow beads back. Starting from four, and we have to get to seven, so we go four, five, six, seven. There is our hundred thousands place, and lastly, we have to do our millions place. So one, two, three, four. This one is a very, very large number, which I would strongly suggest having a sheet of paper for. It was hard for me to do even with a sheet of paper, so you should really have a sheet of paper too. All right, let's figure out what number we have formed. Two, four, six, eight, nine, three. Since there are zero in this row, we can add a zero for a placeholder. Next, we need to go to the thousands. Two, four, six. All right, then in the hundreds, we have a one. In the tens, we have two, four, six, Seven, and in the ones we have two, four, six, eight, nine. Now this number that we have just formed, if we did the equation right, which I do believe we did, we get 9,306,179. This is what your abacus should look like, and you've done a great job today. If you'd like to try some more challenging problems, you can talk to your teacher because I'm out of problems for you to try. I'm James Porter, signing off for now, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.